Aha, perfect. How did I do that? Let's get our supplies together first. First, a laser for a light source. It'll work better than a normal flashlight. I mean, just don't be like me. Don't do that. Second, a material to make the double slits out of. I would use paper, like this index card, or a piece of aluminum foil. Third, a razor or knife to cut the very small slits. Fourth, a binder clip like this, which I found was an easy way to hold up the double slit. Fifth, duct tape or some contraption to keep the laser on. Lastly, a blank surface for you to enjoy a nice clear interference pattern. Okay, let's begin. So for the double slit screen, you take your razor and cut two very tiny slits that are as close together as you can possibly get them. I find it easier to cut if the slits are shorter, like about a quarter inch or 0.6 centimeters. And yeah, it's okay to take a few tries on this to get it right. Then you take your binder clip and clip it on to get a sort of a stand. Now, use duct tape or whatever to keep the laser on so that you don't need to keep holding that button down. Lastly, use whatever you have to arrange your laser about 2-3 to three inches or 5-8 to eight centimeters away from your double slit screen, and then arrange them about 6 feet or 1.8 meters from your designated wall slash surface thingy. Now, the laser light should go through the double slits and interfere to form your interference pattern. And a quick tip, you should be able to see the interference pattern better if it is darker. The darkness is deepening. Yep, and now we can see the interference pattern better. You see? So yeah, enjoy your interference pattern, and thanks for watching.